brought to you as a public service by the National Football League. And now let's check out what happened in the first half statistically, Tom. I've never seen stats that are more indicative of what not should be happening. A one-point football game, and you can see the Cowboys have all of the yardage. Roger is, uh, see if I can find that, 10 for 18 for 138 yards. 33 offensive plays for Dallas, only 21 on the left there to Washington. Look at that, 75 yards passing for the Redskins, 227 for Dallas, including Dorsett's first running pass. And yet the block punt and the fumble, and the Redskins are not only very much in this game, but they may have left the field with more impetus than the Cowboys. And the Redskins, uh, as almost always seems to happen, the last team to come back from the dressing room after the half. There is Tom Landry, the only head coach the Cowboys have ever had. First thing he did was start getting good people 17 years ago. And he's got a lot of them now. 12 rookies three years ago, 10 last year, and nine this year. And some of those, like Tony Hill and all, are going to be not only good football players, but perhaps incredible ones. I'll tell you, though, if anything, Landry uh, gets along with his players and has a better relationship with them than he did early in the career. I think he's grown right along with them. I'm sure that's correct. There comes Bill Kilmer and Joe Theismann. I'll tell you what else, you have to give a lot of credit to, not just to Landry, but to the rest of the Cowboy, cowboy organization. Tex Schramm, Gil Brandt and group. Kilmer looks like he might be trying to get the uniform together like he's going to play, but that left arm, that's the one that was hurt up in that shoulder. Let's see what he's going to do, where he's going to sit. Well, darn, he's going to warm it up. In the bullpen, Billy Kilmer. <laughs> you know, he caught a touchdown pass one time out in San Francisco. He's run for 22. He caught a touchdown pass, I guess, when they were running the shotgun, or was he running at halfback? He probably threw it and then caught it. He, he can throw some that are rather strange. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of organizations, that Redskin one is something else, too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. really is. They pick up people and say, you know something? You were a great athlete once. Now lose 10 pounds. And let's see if you can play like you did. Maybe better than you did you before. Stop and think about the difference in the way these teams were built. Just almost complete contrast. There is Kilmer. He's firing him up. Look at that. Skipping around. Limping around. Taking a few snaps now as Kilmer from Lenny Hawes. There's the friend Herrera. Dallas leads 14-13. They got a touchdown pass from Staubach to Golden Richards. There's Lenny Hawes and Kilmer. In the first quarter with mostly injuries. The Redskins got two field goals from Mosley. Touchdown pass from Theismann as Herrera drills it to Eddie Brown at the three. Second half is underway as Brown swings wide to the left. Eddie Brown goes down. Mike Heckman. Just like this. And one of the great blockers that ever played outside in football, I'll tell you that. He can crack back like nobody else. Taylor and Grant split to the left. First down, Washington. Clarence Harmon into Dallas territory. Number 38 is tackled by Benny Barnes. Harmon. Remember we told you that maybe the Redskins with the block punt and the good defensive stand might have come out of the first half with more impetus. You could see the first two plays under Kilmer have been turn-ons. And this is not a good quarter for Dallas. They have trouble scoring and they allow 21 points in the first four games in the third period. It's a first down now to Dallas 41 for Kilmer and the Redskins. Kilmer, Frank Grant makes the catch. Mark Washington made the tackle. That's Grant's second catch, but the first really effective one, and he had to make a good leap to get it. It looks like uh, they, you know, you either hang together or you hang separately. This is a big day for them. If they lose now, Dallas goes up unbeaten in 5-0. and oh. On second down, again, it's Clarence Harmon inside the 30. Stopped by Harvey Martin. He was the first guy there, but Harmon got the first down. George Stark, the big offensive tackle, got a good block that time on Tuto. Harmon is a free agent out of Mississippi State. 
Weighs 190. As we mentioned before, he was the Redskins' leading rusher in preseason. Pat, there's one guy that turns on that Dallas defense, and we've seen it off and on through the great games, and that's Mr. Harvey Martin. And if he doesn't get mad right now, the Cowboys might be sitting back on their heels a little bit. It's another Redskin first down at the Dallas 29, and Kilmer drops. And fires for Frank Grant. Mark Washington right back there with him this time. Aaron Kyle did not come back into the Dallas defensive lineup in the second half. He is normally the right cornerback. Crazy shot. They're not actually in a cage. That's just our camera shooting through some kind of a gate. <laughs> Somebody's helmet. That was a face mask. That was a face mask? That's what it looks like for those of you who haven't been there. <laughs> What it sounds like is scary. <laughs> At the 30, second down for the Redskins. It's 14-13 Dallas. Kilber sat out the second quarter, but now he's back. Second and 10. Again, he gives to Harmon. He ducks for a couple. Ed Jones slows down to make the tackle along with Dee, Dee Lewis. Mark Mosley loosening up. That there, big, big right leg. Range, yeah. that, that heavy right leg of his. Stump. And now it's third and a little bit long, and now Billy Kilmer has to come up with a good play. And by the way, Kilmer calls his own play. Yes, Joe Walton and sometimes George Allen mention things, but they've been mentioned during the week. He's his own man out there. Right now he faces a tough six defensive back set up for Dallas and drops straight back. Nothing doing as Randy White is all over him. He got into the backfield quicker than Kilmer did. Let's see if Billy hurt the left shoulder again if he gets up. All he's asking was, who was it? Who was that masked man? <laughs> Watch the center of your screen for 54. Runs through Nugent's block and just crushes the quarterback. Dang, he's strong. And quick. Back to the 36. There's John Riggin with the pipe in his mouth and on crutch and bad knees. There he is. Ligament damage, Mosley from 54 yards. It's good. Mark Mosley puts the Redskins back ahead, 16-14 with a long field goal. It is what you would expect from a Redskin Cowboy game. 16-14 Washington leading. With Tom Brookshire, this is Pat Summerall watching Mark Mosley ready to kick off. He's just kicked a 54-yard field goal to give Washington the lead. And he hangs another kickoff high. At the five, Butch Johnson. Out of bounds by Danny Bugg. Word on Aaron Kyle is that he has a fractured wrist. And he will obviously not be back. But he should be able to play probably within a week or so. As a defensive back, uh, if your shoulders and head are all right, the hands usually come later. You don't have to really be too sure about the, about the head either. <laughs> New England 14, San Diego 13 in the third quarter. I say you got to be a little bit wacky to play corner right. in this league anyway, right? I heard. <laughs> First down, Dallas now. Running backs Newhouse and Preston Pearson. And Drew Pearson goes in motion. The fake, the quick screen to Golden Richards. He slipped one. Joe Lavender came up in a hurry, and Jake Scott, number 13, made the tackle. But Golden got about five or six. Good play by Neely. The offensive tackle got up and scraped off Lavender. Did you see how fast the darn defensive reaction was there? I sure did. I thought Golden had 15 or 20. Eight nothing, the Dodgers over the Yankees. In the top of the six. Those shadows, uh, because of the hole in the top of the stadium, give us fits. It's hard to adjust the cameras. I think you'll be able to see from time to time. Pitch back to Pearson. Started to move inside and skated back to the outside. Gave Kenny Houston a limp leg and came around the corner. He's not too smooth, is he? 
11 years, and he was a basketball player at Illinois. And can you imagine he passed waivers in this league and everybody got a chance to grab him and nobody did, and darn if he didn't end up in Dallas. And Dallas got him for 100 bucks. There's the word on Aaron Kyle. Fractured wrist. The event you might not know, Preston Pearson is the only one of the Cowboy 45 who was not drafted or signed as a free agent by the Cowboys. First down, Dallas. Ball to 34. 16 15, Washington to score. Pearson again with no place to go. Found a couple of places. Struggled for a couple. Mike Curtis made the tackle. The Redskins had it closed. You know, we haven't had one call for number 79 on defense, McDowell. He and Donovan must just be having a standoff out there on every running play, and he's never been the biggest pass rusher, but I guess McDowell plays the run as good as any defensive end for a long time. That's what everybody says. Dallas offensive line remains the same with the exception of Herbert Scott. Place has been taken by Jim Cooper at left guard. Burton Wallace is the right guard. Second down. Call back. McDowell, who has intercepted one pass already this year, almost had another one. He has 10 interceptions in 17 seasons. He really thinks he goes down and tries to drill with the defensive backs, and they have to run the dancing bear up to the other end of the field. <laughs> And Pat Fisher played at Nebraska together, what, 15 years ago? Well, I think I played against him for guys thanks to the Big Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Third down situation, and for the first time in the second half, the shotgun is unveiled. Staubach about five yards behind Rafferty. Snap is good. Protection is good. Pearson is good. Eddie Brown was chasing, but he was always behind. Preston Pearson. That defense was looking for Preston Pearson, and where did he filter through, and how did he get through? Let's take a look. Let's see where he goes through the line of scrimmage there. He should come, there he's to the right part. Eddie Brown's got the under coverage. Now it's a basketball move for Preston Pearson. This makes it look so darn easy, and that really makes you mad when you're on defense. In Redskin territory at the 45. It's a first down for the Cowboys with 9.59 left to go in the third quarter. 16-14 Washington. Starbuck is going to have to run in a hurry. He's away from one, away from two. Roger Starbuck down the sideline inside the 20. Dennis Johnson finally ran him down. What an athlete he is again. Staubach told me before the game he's the same weight as when he came with the Cowboys. He only had 25 yards rushing in the first four games, but every time he does run, or has to run, it's usually an important one. Watch this now. The fake set up, he looks and sees, no coverage, getting a big rush from Brundage. Time to make a move. Now McDowell, oh, he can still leg it, can't he? He still wants to take on people, though. He's not satisfied yet. Now he gets out with Dennis Johnson on his back. He got a first down for the Cowboys. Ball to Redskin, 30. Drew Pearson goes behind him in motion. Newhouse, the ball carrier. Newhouse for the 25. Mike Curtis, the tackler. Dyerum Talbert helped. I wonder if young Williams, Gerard Williams at left corner is thinking uh, he's the young man in that secondary and you don't try to throw down the middle where Scott or Kenny Houston can get their hands on it. Lavender's super solo at the corner. If you're gonna go to the corner, you'd probably go where the young man is in a minute here. Drew Pearson will go in motion. Pitch back on second down to Preston Pearson and Preston Burrows down to about the 20 before Brad Dusick and Harold McClinton and Jake Scott converge. He looks like he has a first down, just barely. And again, uh, people are asking Tom Landry, I think he even gets a question at home, are you going to start, start Tony Dorsett? And he says, not yet. 
we feel the two of them together are doing a heck of a job. Between the two of them, they had over almost 500 yards coming in. The measurement, a little bit short. Talk about an inch. Be third and short. It can be a pretty dangerous play to defense. Lorch comes in. Dusick comes out. Dallas offensive huddle. It'll be Newhouse and Pearson behind Staubach. Five down defensive linemen. They'll be pension. Got it. Pearson. Referee Dick Jorgensen stops the clock while they unpile. And he'll indicate now it's a Dallas first down and start it up again. Number 60, Dick Jorgensen. 66 was Dave Hawk. Trouble time with the defense of Dallas defense is they came in with about 190 some odd passing average a game and 189 rushing the football there. Almost at that great blend that everybody wants. Down at the Redskin 18, Staubach gives to Pearson again. Mike Curtis wraps him up. He might have gotten two. Pretty good adjustment for a guy like Curtis who's been playing middle linebacker or who played middle linebacker for most of his career. Went from Baltimore to Seattle and now to Washington to move to the outside. Yeah, but he's the kind of fellow that would make it. All Mike wants to do is play as good a football as possible as long as he can and a very free spirit, an individualistic guy, and uh, I think uh, pro football should be very proud of Curtis. A yard will make it second and nine at the 17 of the Redskins. Staubach throws quickly for Newhouse. Dropped it. Incomplete. Curtis was the guy covering on that play. Newhouse couldn't quite hold on. Early today, that end of the field was completely in sunshine. Now it's all in shadows. Let's see the last problem play for Newhouse. Roger taking the snap. This is quickly unloading into the flat. There's Curtis covering, and I think Newhouse might have taken his eye off the ball and just dribbled it a couple of times. McDowell and McClinton come out. Extra defensive back is in along with Carl Lorch to help the pass rush. Third down, Cowboys. Staubach, Newhouse, flag. Flag is down. Newhouse does not have the first down. Kenny Houston made the tackle along with Gerard Williams. Newhouse, not enough for a first down. El Grabo, El Grabo on the line of scrimmage. Looked like some holding. That is the preliminary indication. From Dick Jorgensen will find out who did it in a minute. Either Lawless or Neely or both. Watch the left part of your screen. Here comes the Redskins twisting defense. And here's the throw to Newhouse. Williams coming up with Houston. Ooh. And Jake Scott comes in too, a whole pile. Holding, number 66, offense, third down. 66 is Burton Lawless. Redskins have accepted the penalty. Would have been fourth down, now it's third. Well, I gotta believe this is the biggest play that Rodgers had to call offensively all year. How about that Denver football team? 27 to seven over Oakland in the third quarter. This one I haven't seen, there's a guy behind Stovak, and now he comes in motion, Butch Johnson. And the blitz is on from the Redskins, fired high. Drew Pearson, and he jumped and was popped by Gerard Williams. Hit hard in the back. Eddie Brown also part of that pile up, but Drew, tough. Trying to work on number 45, who did a good job and also got in his free shot. Here's Golden trying to get out of some traffic, having some problems. And by the way, Roger Staubach that time was hit by Dennis Johnson legally and drilled pretty hard, too. Charlie Waters deals at the 34. Herrera with a 44-yard field goal attempt. 
a good leg. He's got Dallas ahead again. Our friend Herrera from 44 yards out puts the Cowboys back in the lead, 17-16. Run. A man with a deadly mission is sent into the future to change history as two civilizations fight for life on Logan's Run, Monday at 8, 7 Central and North. Herrera, down at the five. Dallas leads by one. Thomas Henderson broke up the wedge. Flags go down. A clip has got to be called as Henderson came barreling in to the front of the wedge. Randy Hughes made the tackle. While they're talking about this penalty, word on Bob Brunet is that uh, they were very fearful, of course. They were very careful when they took him off the field that he might have a serious neck injury. He is still at the hospital. They have taken x-rays, and there are no broken bones, but they're keeping him there for observation. Boy, is that good news. I was really yep. sweating out that report, and that's good. Brunet, right now, as uh, they're going to keep him there, but no bad x-rays anyway, huh? They're going to keep him a day for observation, but... Right now, the news is optimistic. Personal foul. Personal foul for number 50 on the run back. First down. Why, sucky. Guy Brown gets it right to the left there, but he did take two men with him. Now let's see how good Kilmer's offense is from the seven-yard line. It'll be first and ten for the Redskins. They're down by one. Mike Thomas skips and skates and gets nothing. Henderson, I believe. Randy White, the first to hit him. D.D. Lewis put the clamp on. Penetration by number 54. And if you're going to get somebody stirred up on the defensive side, not particularly the people you're seeing now, but the players themselves, I would stay away from Randy White and Harvey Martin. It looked like Billy ran right at them. Second and 11. They lost the yard. The fans come alive as the Cowboys lead 17-16. Washington has the ball deep in their own territory. Kilmer kicks it back to Thomas. And again, they swarm all over him. Charlie Waters. Too tall Jones. And a great play by Brunick, the middle linebacker, number 53. Well, they are fired up now, and the crowd is asking for more from them. And the crowd is a sellout one. They lost another yard. And... That report on Bob Brunig is now on the school board. And the whole crowd at Texas Stadium breathes a sigh of relief. Third and 12, ball back at the six now. Gilmer gives again to Thomas. And again, nothing. Henderson, Water, Brunig. Watch the middle linebacker now, Brunig, who loosened up a little bit. And I'll tell you, Mike Thomas really sticks it in there. The two linebackers collapsed on him, and I think Henderson had a few things to say. So standing deep in his own end zone is Mike Bragg with Butch Johnson out in single safety for the Cowboys. See if they try to block this. They sure do, but they don't get it. They did hurry him, however. And the ball bounces at the 35, and it's down by Ted Frisch. Dallas will have the football at the Washington 37. A crowd on its feet as Dallas leads Washington 17-16 in the third quarter. Cowboy first down at the Washington 37 as Roger Staubach is just joining his teammates. Drum and Bugle Corps from the United States Naval Academy put on some show. And, and their the, man is the quarterback, right? Right. That was the pregame show, and it was terrific. The Kansas State band was terrific at the half. Terrific football game around all that. Pearson was lucky to keep the football. Well, and Joe Lavender is tossing Golden Richards around downfield. Yeah. Like Lavender. a rag doll. <laughs> Lavender had Richards upside down. Looked like one of those vaudeville acts. It's a big series for that yeah. Washington defense, though. Golden looked like he was made out of sawdust. <laughs> he is checked back to the sideline right now. 
And Butch Johnson has brought the play in. Johnson and Preston Pearson go to the right. Drew Pearson is left, and Jay Saldi is the tight end in place of Billy Joe Dupree. Second down. Draw play, Newhouse. Harold McClinton, one of the tacklers. Dyron Talbert, the other. He got to the 35, so it'll be a big third down situation coming up. All right, you're running the Redskin defense. You do not have Chris Hanberger out there. So the man in charge of that right now, and Eddie Brown comes in, they'll go to a prevent, but they've got to get Jared Williams over there, the young cornerback, give him confidence and support him from the inside. And let's see if Kenny Houston and Jake Scott give him a little bit of safety help down the middle. Houston calls the defenses now. We've got Dorsett and Pearson in the game together now. Preston stops sideways out there. Here in the shotgun, Staubach gets away from one and throws to nobody. Eddie Brown gesturing, saying that he intentionally grounded it. They might be within range for Herrera. With some pattern. It Drew Pearson be. came all the way under and across the sideline, and young Williams was right with him. Look at McDowell's undressed now. They're going to bring in Herrera. The thing you have to consider here, other than the fact that it might be blocked, is that if he misses, it'll be a 52-yard effort. They bring it back to this line of scrimmage, not to the 20. And if it's blocked, it could be worse. Blocked is disaster. Charlie Waters holding. 52-yard attempt by a friend Herrera. He's going to get it there, I believe. He does. A friend Herrera from 52 yards away makes it Dallas 20, Washington 16. Friend Herrera's 52-yard field goal makes it Dallas Cowboys 20, Redskins 16, 309 left third period. His first over 50 yards this year, but a very, very large one. Eddie Brown in the middle. The Redskins will field it at the 10. Brown with some room gets outside the 30 to about the 34. Fast Eddie Brown. Herrera was really jumped. Eddie Brown is hurt, too. They really stuck him hard. Logan's run tomorrow night at 8. 7 Central in Mountain Time. Eddie Brown was hit hard on that kickoff return, and that's number 25. I think Red that's the wind out of the sails. I believe he just got a shot in the back. Redskins are hurting a little bit in the defensive backfield. Eddie Brown is the backup guy. Pat Fisher is out. That bad back. See if we can see it. It's not exactly a late hit. Number 65 is the one that sort of lays it on him, Dave Stalls. One of his own men came across late, too. That was Harris. Number 51. Eddie Brown is trying to get up. And we'll get up. Tennessee tough guy, that one, I'll tell you that. He's had big plays his whole life, you know it? Yeah. Done a heck of a job, the Redskins. He's a good looking youngster, huh? Wasn't he? New England leading San Diego down 17-13. That's fourth quarter score. Lenny Hawes comes up over the ball. Dallas ahead 20 to 16. Three minutes left to play in the third quarter. Kilmer fakes. Kilmer has the ball almost knocked loose. And now he does. Larry Cole is the guy who got him down. Somebody else hit him early. Did you see who that was? I think Henderson might have come on the blitz and caught him. The crazy thing was that Kilmer managed not to throw it or fumble it. Here it is now, a little semi-row left. There's the first pressure. That's Henderson, I believe. Dede Lewis. And Dede Lewis. And now Cole comes. And Kilmer is just glad to maintain possession. Keep his left shoulder intact, too. Loss of 11. Second and 21. Oh, Whistling Ray is <laughs> looking for trouble up there in the stands. Doing a job on that Redskin pennant. <laughs> Straight ahead, Harmon. Bill Gregory. Number 77 made the tackle. Kilmer is 3 for 12 for 28 yards and came in as a 50% passer. A lot of trouble against this team, huh? A lot of pressure against him. 
Miami 21, the Jets 17. The Jets coming back. And Gilmer. The, and the dime defense is in there. Billy will read it. He's one of the best reading quarterbacks in football. Mel Renfro, one of the dimers. Harmon is hit by Waters and popped by Waters. Pass was intended for him. We'll see Mike Bragg again. Listed the crowd for the Dallas defense. Mike Bragg. Back to punt for Washington. Butch Johnson deep for Dallas. Good kick. Ooh. At the 31 is Butch. Shakes one. Shakes a couple. Butch Johnson to midfield. Excellent return. And a tough run all the way. Sports Spectacular next Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Leon Spinks against Scott Ledoux. Michael Spinks against Gary Summerhays. Bernardo Mercado against Greg Johnson. All that plus the world's strongest men competition. They're rolling wheelbarrows this week, loaded with 750 pounds, and they're going uphill. And bad wheels. <laughs> <laughs> All that on the Sports Spectacular. Next week, Cowboys have the football right at midfield. Roger Staubach still the quarterback. He gives to Dorsett. And Dorsett is caught from behind by Bill Brundage whose ankle got well in a hurry. Chase that play down. And remember, when Dorsett touches the football, they're told, get a lot of him. Even if he tries to block you, make him pay. That came from behind Tony Dorsett, where he doesn't get hit a lot. Imagine, during his great career at Pittsburgh, he never had too many people in his wake like that. Loss of five. Fourth quarter score is Los Angeles 14, New Orleans seven. So it'll be second and 15 now. One minute to go, third period. This is back to Dorset. Uh -huh. Lost the football. Redskins have it. But remember, he's one step away, darn near every time he touches the football, of doing something incredible. He gets cut off. The Redskins overplayed the side where they ran to. Now watch him cut back. And the last man not only gets the ball, but keeps him from breaking. Ken Houston is the guy who made the recovery. It's about his third fumble of the year, Dorsett's third fumble. Dodgers 10, Yankees 2, bottom of the seventh in the World Series. Looks like they'll go back to Yankee Stadium. First and 10. Redskin ball at their own 44, and Kilmer wastes no time. In the direction of Frank Grant, Benny Barnes is going to be called for interference. A lot of pressure on Kilmer that time. I think Billy would like to have probably had it back and had another chance to set down on it a little bit. Big rush. A little holding on Benny Barnes. That'll be an automatic Dallas for uh, Redskin first down. The Cowboys lead 20 to 16 with 38 seconds to go in the third quarter. Kilmer sat out the second quarter with an injured left shoulder. Here it is. Holding number 30, defense, first down. That's not the right number. Add one more to it. There's Riggins. We've said the ligaments of the knee, and he was running very well at the time. First down, Redskins, first and 10. Ball to own 49. Harmon straight ahead. He doesn't look too bad. And I mean, covers up that football and sort of hunches over it. The toughest kind of guys to tackle are those that pull it in like a, a turtle and give you nothing but a helmet and shoulder pads to get at. Fourth quarter, Seattle 30, Tampa Bay 23. 
Tampa Bay has lost 18 in a row. Don't forget that Gene Fugit is a heck of a tight end and has seen very little thrown his way so far. Second down. Mike Clarence Harmon carry. Enough for a first down for Harmon. Ed Jones came out and made the tackle. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. The Dallas Cowboys 20, Washington Redskins 16. We now pause for a word from your local station. Two of Brenda's boyfriends show up at the same time. Rhoda steps into the picture with disastrous results tonight on CBS. Redskins standing in the sunlight. Harmon, after they got through marking, did not quite make a first down. I thought he had it by at least a yard and a half. Tell you, they just played country boy, and nobody even grinned in this crowd. Right now, everybody's sitting pretty tight. It's third and inches right now with the ball of the Dallas 42. Redskins on the football. Calvin Hill tries to nudge his way. Tell you one thing, he didn't look like he got it as much as as Harmon, as John right. Harmon did. They're going to bring out the change again to see if Calvin got it or not. Calvin used to be the big leaper, remember? Yep. Man, man into space all the time. That time he didn't even get up off the ground very much. That's a final score. Miami 21, Jets 17. That roar from the crowd went up. Because the bottom score on the scoreboard says Denver Broncos 27, the Oakland Raiders 7. They are moving the markers. Calvin Hill did get it, but just barely. Billy throw on first down, perhaps, in this series, huh? You never know. He doesn't want to throw against that defense with the extra defensive back, so this is a good time to throw. Kilmer gave the ball to Harmon. D.D. Lewis wow. hurled that body in there. I don't know if D.D. was firing as they say a linebacker, but he came across so fast it was total commitment. Watch the left of your screen. Look how fast. Ducked inside Thomas Block. And the first down play is so important against the Cowboys. Bob Brunig, the guy who made the tackle. Larry Cole goes out along with D.D. Lewis and Bob Brunig. Now they're ready for pass. They've got the, the rubber band guys back in there now. Including one Mel Renfro, number 20. Kilmer takes a long time. And the clock is run out the 32nd clock. As indicated at the far end of the field and the Redskins will lose five. Well, that makes Billy mad, too. That's the one thing a quarterback, especially a great pro like Billy, doesn't want to do. Delay, offense, second down. Doesn't need any words. 20 to 16 is the score. Dallas on top with 13.48 left to play. Cowboys are unbeaten. Redskins have lost once. Cardinals won today. The Giants won today. And the NFC East is Kilmer retreats. Randy White's after him. Martin is after him. Flag is down. Gregory finally got him. Plus offensive holding, I believe. The flag was thrown right into that melee. Man, I'll tell you, the Cowboys came with a rush that time. No blitzing either. The Done sport. by the four. Oh. The indication is holding. And Kilmer might be hurting a little bit more. He got up very slowly. Wish you could look into that face, because Kilmer is really hot. You talk about a competitor. Look at this. He's just grouchy now, and he's mean. Holding and he's been thrown number around. 62, offense, decline, third down. Number 62 on the offense is Dan Nugent. Here it is. Now, watch this Dallas pass rush. As Pat said it's only four people. But I'm telling you, they're like four stallions coming out. Randy White, he was trying to block. So it'll be third down and 20. 13.43 left on the scoreboard to play. Gilmer, the quarterback. 
Anderson fakes a blitz. Draw play to Thomas. Anderson made a tackle. Ball is loose. The Cowboys are saying we got it. But that doesn't count. I don't think. The referee says they got it. Henderson got the ball. He made the tackle and recovered the fumble. A big turnover, too. Look at this. Henderson's taking the ball home. That's going to go on the mantle. <laughs> not getting that one back. So Dallas takes over at their own 45. They still lead 20 to 16. Dallas defense has really shut down the Redskins' passing attack. They've netted only nine yards all day. First down for the Cowboys now as Pearson Drew goes in motion. Straight ahead, Newhouse hops for a couple. But Mike Curtis was the tackler. It is now Denver 30, Oakland 7. Greg Morton has found a home. When you lose, you might as well lose big, I guess. I would imagine the Cowboys uh, would like some insurance points and a little bit of time chewed up off that clock. Raiders had won 17 straight. Regular season and preseason. That tied Miami and the Chicago Bears record. They're trying to break it. it. Looks like those dreams have come to an end. Stahlbeck starts to take off. Flag goes down. Dennis Johnson takes him down. A flag down on the far side of the field. It wasn't near the offensive line of scrimmage, but it might have been holding, but it was thrown in a rather weird area. I wonder if it was... Must have been when Johnson was trying to get away from Neely. <laughs> from the Washington bench, Ron Saul has a bruised knee. Probably will not be back. It's some tough day for injuries. Trying for the tight end. Here's Number Roger Staubach now. And you are behind the Redskin defense. The <laughs> you here is not this replay. That is about the call. Roger trying to run with it, and the flag was thrown right through the limbs. Call against Neely. So it's third down now, and 14 yards to go. 12.52 left to play. Dallas 20. Washington 16, third and 14. Guess who's in the game for the Cowboys? Number 33. 33. Mm -hmm. And 26 stays. Two good receivers. Stallback is deep. Here come the Redskins. Drew Pearson. Got it. He beat Gerard Williams. Staubach read the blitz and just threw it up in the air. Gerard Williams did not play the ball at all. And Staubach made a great impromptu move against the total blitz. Look at, look at it from the end zone, Patrick. Here it is from the shotgun. And I mean, Redskins sent everybody. A quick throw, and he did a hanging job with it. And the young defensive back never got a chance to play the ball at all. And Pearson is really nifty. He's from another century, maybe the 24th. 59-yard touchdown pass. Staubach to Pearson. Herrera with the extra point. And it's now 27-16. The Cowboys, after they read the blitz perfectly, at least Staubach did, and put the pass on the money to Pearson. Staubach is 13 of 25 now. Two touchdowns. That last one, 59 yards. And he hasn't been intercepted today either. That was a beautiful throw against the blitz. Bro. It really was. Larry Jones is deep in the middle for the Redskins, taking the place of Eddie Brown. Larry has got the good speed. Oh. He's got a little alley, too. Oh. At the 35 by Guy Brown. Another one of those linebacker types the Cowboys have running around. Look at this guy. Those people. So we got enchiladas from him the other <laughs> night. Yeah, we did. Stayed up all night remembering it. Let's see what Kilmer's got in store now. There's still a lot of time left, so don't stroke it off. It's 12.33 left in the fourth period. It'll be first down for the Redskins at their own 35. It is now Cowboys 27, Redskins 16. Twelve and a half minutes left to play. 
Mike Thomas goes in motion. Kilmer still the quarterback. Here come the Cowboys. Charlie Taylor at the 48. Mark Washington. Let's watch that touchdown pass again. This is a thing of beauty. Remember, if you catch the people in a blitz and you anticipate it and you go with this, and this is just hanging it up for one of the great receivers in football. Boy, I'll tell you, the defensive back, once he gets his head turned, he can't play the ball, and it's over. Look at this move. Of course, he married Marcus Haynes' his daughter. He ought to be able to handle the ball a little bit. I wanted to see if it bounced back to him. <laughs> That's Roger Staubach. Had a good day. Gilmer drops again. And throws in the direction of Harmon, and the flag goes down. I thought that was legitimate. I don't see what the call is yet. Intentional grounding. But he threw it at the feet of a receiver. That's what Kilmer's saying right now. I thought the crowd might have called that, and the official was very quick to do it. When the quarterback's under duress, he has a chance to throw the football. He, he is arguing now with Jorgensen about that very fact. Gonna lose, lose a down. Kilmer's hot. I think he has a right to be in this case. Big rush by Dallas, but he did have the arm going forward and threw it right at somebody's feet. Better cover up the bike on the field right now, I'll tell you that. Number 17, offense, loss of down, second down. Loss of down, loss of yards, second down. See if he don't think his arm is going forward. Okay, let's see what he was throwing to. He gets a big rush. Watch the right part of your screen. That's Larry Cole reaching over. Now he's got part of him. Here's Kilmer throwing it. And there's a receiver right there. I got to complain if I'm the quarterback. Yes, sir. To Thomas. Harmon was out in front of him. Harvey Martin calling from all the way on the other side of the field. It was second and 25 when they began that play. Thomas got about 11 or 12. Kilmer still mad. The thing you can't let it do is affect the rest of your game. You got to go ahead and call and worry about those plays in front. But he is mad. He'd like to have time out so he could really get it off his chest. And now a discussion going on. Kilmer. I want to talk to you, he said. <laughs> He'll cool it down, though. Yep. They start the clock again. We have 11 minutes and 15 seconds left to play. Harvey Martin standing up the line of scrimmage, leaning over toward the Washington huddle. He was trying to hear the play that was called. It's third down now. 15. Silver drops. Harvey Martin's got him. No, he doesn't. Randy White got him. Bill Gregory got a piece of him. Gilbert ducked under Martin. Randy White arrived along with Gregory. Gregory and Martin missed him. And then here comes Randy White along like a steamroller. I'll tell you, Billy's hurting now. They really roughed him up on that serve. Those of you who watched Seattle defeat Tampa Bay 30 to 23, welcome to Texas Stadium. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire. It's the Dallas Cowboys 27, the Redskins 16. We're in the fourth quarter with a little over 10 and a half minutes left to play. Waters in close to blocking it. Butch Johnson handles it at the 20. Spins away from one. Does not get away from Mark Murphy. Harmon down there to help out, too. Everybody's tackling that football right now. It shows up on almost every running play. Billy, I don't blame you for being mad. Pretty bad call. The only protection a quarterback has is either complete the pass or unload it somewhere near somebody. 10-29 left to play. Dallas by 11. A little over 10 and a half minutes left to play. Oh. Newhouse thunders out. Dennis Johnson made the tackle. Newhouse had 50 yards rushing before that play, and he got that all by himself after he left the line of scrimmage. Joe Thigh has been loosening. 
Word from that area, the Redskin bench, is that Eddie Brown has bruised ribs and he is not expected to be back again. It's been a tough day, a hard hitting day for both teams. Dorsett and Newhouse, the running backs. Second and about a half yard. Ball to Dallas 26, Starbuck. Been the Dallas quarterback all day. Gives to Dorsett. Dorsett got the first down and more before he was hacked by Ken Houston and Dennis Johnson also. There's Kilmer with his pads off now. Those of you who watched Los Angeles defeat New Orleans 14 to 7. We welcome you to our broadcast of the Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas leads 27 16. Eddie Brown is back in the lineup as an extra defensive back now. And this is one of the most physical football games that I've seen four or five years. We started to run down the injury list. For those of you who joined us late, it would take a while. Newhouse slips a couple of tackles. Dennis Johnson gets him down. And the clock is running. It's going to be under nine minutes very shortly. And the Redskins have to turn the football over to get back in it. There's Kilmer. Bill Kilmer suffered that injury in the, late in the first quarter. Rested the second quarter. Came back to start the second half. And now he is obviously through for the day. John Riggins is out. With ligament damage, Bob Brunet suffered a neck injury. He's gone. Kyle has a broken wrist Aaron from the Dallas Kyle. Cowboys. Brundage had an ankle injury. He's back, though. Outside of Johnson. Johnson cuts back inside and got a Dallas first down at about the 46. Gerard Williams is the guy they're going after. Boy, I'll tell you, Butch Johnson's coming on awfully fast. Golden Richards had a big TD pass, but the play you just saw was very well done and not in a hurry by a second-year flanker. Got a good... Good block by Donovan, and he waited for it. Roger Staubach has touchdown passes of over 50 yards, one to Golden Richards and the other to Drew Pearson. Robert Newhouse has a touchdown, and a friend Herrera has done the rest. Almost eight minutes left in the game now. First and 10. Dallas has the ball at their own 46. Here's Dorsett. Gets out of bounds in front of the Redskin bench. You got about three or four. Final score in the Oakland Denver game. The Oakland winning streak is over at 17. Denver 30, Oakland 7. Snake State were intercepted seven times. Good gosh. Oakland remains unbeaten. Baltimore won earlier today. I beg your pardon. Denver remains unbeaten. Ball right at midfield here at Texas Stadium. Oakland loses for the first time. Baltimore has won earlier today. Dallas is leading. And that'll be all the unbeatens if they continue to lead. Here's Newhouse. Inside the 45, stopped by Ron McDowell. Good effort by Newhouse. Kenny Houston and Butch Johnson uh, elbowed each other in the secondary. I'll tell you who's done a heck of a job in the middle of that offensive line is young Rafferty, the offensive center, in for Fitzgerald. He has blocked very well out there. And the, how about this now? <laughs> you can lead a horse to water, but I guess you can make him drink. I wonder what's in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, the horse spit it back. <laughs> Third and one. Dorsett squirms and got the first down. Brad Dusick. Did you see that body extension by number 33? Look at Houston. He got hit, wrapped up, and then a whole body just shot ahead. Watch Dorsett. Now, this is what I talked about, inside runner. Watch. Now, here's the spin. Look at this. Full length out to get the first. Golden Richards just tried to retaliate against Joe Lavender and lost again. New England has defeated San Diego 24 to 20. That now a final score. Here's Dorsett. Cutting back inside. He had been averaging over eight yards a carry. He has not nearly come close to that today. Mike Curtis and Jake Scott made the tackle. But the it still is exciting. And the Redskins secondary is chopping at a receiver on every play right now. Don't forget 60 minutes will be seen immediately following this game. Uh, 
Nobody wants to miss that, much less those of us in the booth, I'll tell you. It'll be seen in its entirety. Entirety? Entirely entirety. It'll be at its normal time on the West Coast, and of course will be seen in its entirety. <laughs> <laughs> Second and five situation with less than six minutes to play now. Door set, straight ahead. Quick two who have just joined us. We're in down. Score 27-16. The count. 5-15 left to play in this football game. It's third down for the Cowboys. Starbuck looking around, and he's starting to cut back against the grain, and now he gets down. Dennis Johnson from behind. I'll tell you, Kenny Houston had the elbow cocked that time, and there may have been three or four elbows cocked. Roger knew it was coming. Didn't get the first, but he got out alive. It'll be fourth. And about one. Danny White is up in front of the Dallas bench. Here comes Newhouse. They're going for it. This is called throwing the glove in somebody's face. Carl Lorch comes in. It'll be five down linemen for the Redskins. Jay Salvi, number 87. Look out on this play. I'll tell you that. The line of scrimmage is going to be really fearful. Staubach is going to take a timeout. Chance for us to remind you again that 60 minutes will immediately follow this football game. And you'll see it in its entirety, except <laughs> on the West Coast where it'll be seen at its regular time. So Dallas takes a timeout with 4 minutes and 15 seconds left to play. Ball at the Redskins 33. The Cowboys lead by 11. George Allen, never losing his enthusiasm. It's fourth and less than a yard. I'll tell you one thing, strap yourself down because you're going to see something down there this time. It's all right here. Cowboys lead 27-16, and they're going for it on fourth and short. Newhouse, and Dorsett gets the call, and Dorsett gets it. How do you stop a speeding bullet? <laughs> Mike Curtis made the tackle. All you got to do is give him a little room and then just try to block your man as best you can. He follows Newhouse right into it. Dallas 27, the Washington Redskins 16. It's been a typical Washington-Dallas game. Looked like Dallas might dominate things in the first half, and they did, as a matter of fact, but the Redskins were down by only one. It's Newhouse straight ahead to about the 30. Clock continues ticking. 3.45 left to play. Ken Houston and Ron McDowell on that last tackle. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire. Don't forget, we remind you again that 60 minutes will be seen immediately following this game in its entirety. <laughs> that is, except on the West Coast, where you will also see it in its entirety, but at its regular time. What time is it on the West Coast? <laughs> I don't know, but whatever time it is, you'll see it. <laughs> Dorsett to the 25. Jake Scott on the tackle. Great defensive play by the two safety men, really. Dorsett in the open field with a blocker. Houston took the blocker, and Scott took the ball carrier. I tell you, he's scary, isn't he? Look at Dorsett. Frightening. He's going to get a rest, I believe. No, it's Newhouse that goes out, so Pearson and Dorsett will stay. That's what Tony D has done today. Threw a 34-yard pass. Had a fumble. He takes part in a lot of the game of football. <laughs> has he caught a pass? He threw one. He also caught one, didn't he? I think. Yeah, I believe he did. Too. Yes, he did. Pumped the balls up before the game. All 24 of them. Starback, look out. There's Mike Curtis. There was Mike Curtis. Starback out of bounds at the 12. Pearson took a shot at somebody. Harold McClinton. Is that who it was? On the Dallas side of the field. Of course, the whole stadium's full of Dallas people. I guess it wouldn't be the right time to start one. And very few Dallas people have left. Stand still. Just packed. I tell you, Roger can still get it underway in a hurry. When he runs now, he is still a good running back. 
we talked about taking care of yourselves. You know, he's no spring chicken anymore, and he looks to me like he's in as good a shape as almost anybody. Sports Spectacular is in good shape next week. Leon Spinks against Scott Ledoux, the world's strongest men competition. Michael Spinks against Gary Summerhays. And Bernardo Mercado against Greg Johnson. Hey, we just had some more talking between the Dallas offense and the Washington defense, and this time even Drew Pearson was yelling at somebody over there. He's got a cast on his hand. Offsetting fouls is the call. Staubach got enough for a first down. 2.23 remain. The ball at the Washington 18. If you start a fight in here with Dallas, you better get the buses running outside. <laughs> See, I told you none of the fans had left. Dorset and Newhouse shift into the eye. Newhouse. Well, the whistle said he was stopped. He got away from Mike Curtis and stayed on his feet. But the whistle had blown. He is tough to get down, isn't he? So short and so strong. He wouldn't do too badly in that world's strongest men thing, I'll tell you. No. 204 left to play, and the Redskins take a timeout. That's strange. They had waited four seconds. You get one for nothing, right? Right. Next on CBS, 60 Minutes, which you will see in its entirety. Followed by Rhoda, on our own, all in the family, and Kojak. Great lineup tonight on CBS. It's been a great afternoon at Texas Stadium. All those programs you just saw will immediately follow today's game. All in the family will have a special hour presentation saluting Edith's birthday. Archie should have some classics for the birthday. Somebody will wear the cake. In an hour. <laughs> we'll tell them what might happen. <laughs> All those programs will be seen in their entirety. You know what we're realizing, though, and I think we might have said this earlier in the season, that I don't think Dallas really realizes how deep or how good they are. And everybody should realize it now. They had a lot of people hurt today, too, and the yeah. people that filled in did very, very well. A very young team as well. So at 204, Roger Staubach has made his visit to Landry and group. Second down situation, 11. The ball at the Redskin, 19. 27-16, the Dallas Cowboys lead. Staubach. Pearson. Got it. Not quite. Boy, that guy is something else. Gerard Williams made the tackle. Is that incredible? What a catch. Try to figure out how many he's caught today. Coming across the middle. He juggled it a little bit, but put it away even with the cast. That was catch number six. He almost got the touchdown. Not quite. A two-minute notification has been given. Dallas leads by 11. Trying to squeeze out the clincher if they haven't already done it. They lead 27-16 with a minute 58 seconds left showing on the scoreboard. They have it first and goal at the one after that spectacular catch by Drew Pearson. Staubach is 15 of 27 for 251 yards. Dorsett, Newhouse, Pearson, Dorsett tried to go over the top and didn't get in. Mike Curtis jumped to meet him. Impressive last drive, though, when they were using the clock up and keeping the ball at the same time, huh? They've been a very impressive football team all day today. Fly. Here comes Scott Laidlaw. First time we've seen him today. Gee, forget about the guys they got on the bench. Doug Dennison hasn't played at all. Another good running back. Second and goal then. Dorsett did not get anything. Less than a minute and a half. Fake. The fire. Jay Saldi had a chance. Saldi comes out of the tight end spot. A heck of a call from that overbalanced eye. 
McClinton is hot in pursuit. Here's the throw. Look at Sally makes a heck of a try. He's second year out of South Carolina. Watch the fake by Dorsett. He's got to protect himself at all times because they're going to be hitting him whether he has it or not. <laughs> Newhouse takes it too. They both scored. <laughs> it's third down. Still that half yard to go. A minute 19 left on the clock. Same set of backs. Newhouse flag goes down. Newhouse tripped over somebody. Looks like Neely went early. Either Neely or Billy Joe, Billy Dupree. Joe Dupree. I'd like to explain again that 60 minutes will immediately follow this football game in its entirety, except on the West Coast, where you'll see that it's regular time. You're not going to miss any of it. Illegal motion, left end, offense, third down. Billy Joe Dupree, the big tight end move. Now they've got a little breathing room. I thought maybe Roger Starbuck would take it in on the quarterback sneak when he came back that last play, you know. He used to do maybe that. He ran a quarterback draw against the Giants very well. There's some angry people over there right now. The last guy ended up with the ball may get hit. Admire that Redskin defensive unit. Admire the whole Redskin team, as a matter of fact. They have hung tough. Newhouse got in. His second of the day. And a heck of a run it was. Robert Newhouse. 205 pounds on a five nine and a half chassis. Look at this. He really gets stuck here and just gets the big legs working. That's quite an effort. Jake Scott hit him at about the two, and Newhouse just kept on burrowing. And so a friend Herrera with Charlie Waters holding tries to make it 34-16. The Cowboys, and he does. And now they will start to depart as you look at that clear blue Texas sky out through the hole in the roof. It is 34-16, Dallas over Washington. Next week, don't forget the of Philadelphia and the New York Giants. And then uh, after Thanksgiving, it, Dallas takes the trip to Washington. And that should be quite a game, too. <laughs> Chuck Milton's been our producer of yeah. this broadcast. Bought us tacos last night. He does all his best work in Dallas. <laughs> Sandy Grossman, the director. It's always so well done there, too certainly is. Herrera. That's Larry Jones who can't find a handle. And the speedster goes down. Dave Stahl made the tackle. It'll be Redskin football at their own 28-yard line. These are final scores now. Buffalo beat Atlanta 3 to nothing. Detroit over Green Bay, 10 to 6. St. Louis beat Philadelphia, 21-17. The Giants over San Francisco, 20 to 17. A lot of close games. Here's Theismann dropping and throwing. Harmon over the middle. Mike Hegman made the tackle. Less than a minute left to play now. More scores, and again, these are all finals. Minnesota, 22. Chicago Bears, 16. That was an overtime game. Cleveland beat Houston 24-23. Wow. And Denver, 30-7 over Oakland to break that unbeaten streak. Here goes Theismann on the scramble. Stopped by Harvey Martin. 45, now about 40 seconds left to play. New England struggled over San Diego 24-20. Miami beat the Jets 21-17. The Jets came roaring back at the end. Los Angeles over New Orleans 14-7. And finally, Tampa Bay. Lost to Seattle 30 to 23, 19 straight losses for the Buccaneers. Hey. Whistling Ray. Ray gets all a good job. I wonder if he goes on the road or if they. You notice what uh, he's using to shine those boots? Redskin pennant. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Somehow I missed that. 
There's George Allen. That's the toughest trip of all, going back to the nation's capital with a lot of injured people, and the hopes are dashed a bit. Somebody's down on the field. I believe it's one of the, one of the Cowboys. Which one, I can't tell you right now. But a lot of people who have counted out the Redskins before, and they just come whistling back long about December. They are close if they can win a big game, right? It was Hardy Martin that's down. Well, that was down, and now he's up. Shaking hands with a friend, Herrera. Ernie Sotner looking back at his prize defensive end. Washington's record will be 3-2. and two. Dallas will be 5-0. and oh. St. Louis, the Giants, and the Eagles all 2-3. and three. Underthrown, Senator for Haya Harmon by Theismann. Mike Hegman again on the cover. Gregory making a pretty good pass rush, too. Again, those are people we haven't called before because they can't quite get into the lineup. When they do, they're still very strong and good, active. Clock has stopped with 31 seconds now with that incomplete pass. Billy Kilmer's final stats were 4 for 14 for 42 yards. Theismann is 3 for 10 for 19 yards and the one touchdown of about a foot. Incredible pass defense. Theismann running away, chased by Tuchol. Gregory's got a hand on him, chased by Cole, caught by Ed Jones and Larry Cole. Tuchol <laughs> never stopped running, did he? No, he didn't. Larry Cole, too. Theismann saw too tall. He put on the brakes. 20 seconds left on the clock now, and Theismann's coming over to talk to George Allen. That incredible Dallas pass defense had allowed something less than 36% of the passes against it going into this game. And now it's better. Remind you again that 60 minutes will immediately follow this football game in its entirety. In its entirety. Right. That is, except on the West Coast, where it'll be seen at its regular time. 20 seconds left to play. It's Dallas 34, the Redskins 16. Look out. Harvey Martin and Randy White meet at the quarterback. Theismann. Tom Landry, a very happy person right now. Seven sacks for 42 yards lost and a lot of physical abuse to quarterbacks. Billy's already wrapped up. Kilmer on the sidelines. Look at this. Harvey taking the outside. Drew a dead beat on the, a very tired young quarterback. Less than 10 seconds now. This will be off. Harvey again coming around the outside. And Harvey again. And Randy. And Larry. And the clock runs out. Harvey Martin sticks his hand into the air. Dallas 34, the Redskins 16. 60 minutes will follow this football game. You'll see it in its entirety except on the West Coast where it'll be seen at its regular time. Don't forget the CBS Sports Spectacular. Leon Spinks against Scott Ledoux. Michael Spinks against Gary Summerhays. Bernardo Mercado against Greg Johnson in the world's strongest men competition. That's on the CBS Sports Spectacular next Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Final score here, Dallas 34, Washington 16. This is Pat Summerall saying so long from Texas Stadium for Tom Brookshire. The NFL Today is a presentation of CBS Sports. This is CBS.